Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Dwayne Brothwell. This is April 17, 2011. I'm going to be talking about the images and the idols of Babylon. The images and, and idols of Babylon are the currencies um, that they create, the dollar, the euro, um, because these are created out of thin air, they have no value, and they are counterfeit. And uh, that's why the Bible says in Jeremiah, I'm going to be talking, I'm going to be saying a couple of scriptures here um, concerning the images. The first one will be Jeremiah 51, or Jeremiah 50, uh, 38, a drought on her waters, they will dry up, for it is a land of idols or fake money, idols that will go mad with terror, or the King James Version says they have gone mad with their idols, you know, with this banking bailout and all this money created out of thin air, they've gone mad with their idols and they've created all of this trillions and trillions of money, uh, the derivatives market is just, just trillions and hundred they say it's a, a thousand trillion, a thousand quadrillion, boy, I don't know, just some outrageous number, amount of uh, money and derivatives. So they've gone mad upon their idols, and when there's too many created, then they lose value, and, and uh, you know, the sea is going to dry up. The bank sea is going to dry up. Um... Another scripture is Jeremiah 51, 17, and let me go there. I'm reading in the NIV version. Of course, some people don't like the NIV, and, and uh, you can use the King James, and uh, you'll find that you know, it all comes to the same understanding um, of what we're talking about here. Um, you know, I do study out of the King James. I go to the Strong's KJV on the Internet, and I study the Greek and the Hebrew through the Strong's um, website there. I don't know if it's Strong's website, but it has uh, the King James Version in the, and the Strong's um, format, I guess it is. Uh, anyway, it says in Jeremiah... 51.17, in the NIV it says, Every man is senseless and without knowledge. Every goldsmith is ashamed by his idols. Her images are a fraud. They have no breath in them. They are worthless, the objects of mockery. When their judgment comes, they will perish. Um, God's judgment is coming upon the currencies. And... Uh, they will die because gold is the only real, true, honest currency. You can't counterfeit it. And, uh, you know, money is counterfeited, and this is how nations trust uh, in idols to save them. So anyway, um, Jeremiah 51, 17, every man is senseless and without knowledge. That means that we did not have knowledge of our money system. We didn't understand how it worked. So because of that lack of knowledge, um, we have uh, in the Strong's, in the, in the King James Version, it says every man is brutish by his knowledge. That means wasted. Um, you know, another word that you could use is uh, every man is broke by his knowledge. Um, it's because these bankers, they create money out of thin air. It gives them power, and they rule us with this money. And it gives them power to um, reign over our government by, hot, by uh, lobbying the politicians to um, uh, pass laws that benefit them and ruin commerce. You know, uh, just like George Washington said uh, when he was talking to people in England, he said, paper money has had the effect in your state that it will always have to oppress the poor, uh, to ruin commerce, 
oppress the poor and the honest, and to open the door for every species of fraud and injustice. And that's why our forefathers gave us gold and silver, because you can't counterfeit it. It doesn't give the bankers power, and it keeps the, the government within the confines of the Constitution. And that's why our country is so messed up right now, is because our government has gone way out of bounds with this money printed out of thin air. And then uh, the verse goes on, it says, Every goldsmith is ashamed by his idols. Now, the goldsmith is the banker. And, and uh, when the people wake up, the angel of light is, is going to come down. That's Revelations 18, 1 through 2. It says, um, And I saw an angel descend from heaven, having great authority, and he lightened the earth with his glory, and he cried mightily with a loud voice, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. And uh, so when this angel comes down, uh, the people are going to wake up. And how are they going to wake up? They're going to gain knowledge. You know, the Bible says in Daniel 12, 4, it says, uh, God told Daniel, seal up the words of this book until the time of the end. Knowledge will be abundant, or that word abundant means to be increased. And so through knowledge and the Internet, people are going to wake up, and they're going to, you know, like we are waking up. You know, Alex Jones calls it the Great Awakening. And, uh, but that's just the same thing as uh, uh, Revelations 1 through 2. And then it says in Habakkuk 2, 6 through 8, uh, in the NIV version, it says, Will not your debtors arise? Will they not wake up and you will become their victim? Because you have plundered many nations. Now, the people are going to wake up. And, and, uh, you know, the Bible says in Jeremiah 51, 14, it says, God says, the word of God says, the Lord has sworn by himself, I will fill you with swarms of men as with swarms of locusts. And uh, so um, talking about the images and the idols, um, anyway, the images and the idols are going to die. And uh, the people are going to wake up, and the banks are going to crash. Um, one thing we should do is we should trade in our fake money for gold and silver, because money is going to crash, the dollar is going to crash, and right now you see that silver's at $43 an ounce, and it's going to go much higher. It's, it's going to go until the dollar is dead. It's just going to rise and rise and rise until the dollar is completely completely dead. And so if you don't want to partake in the plagues of Babylon, then I would suggest that you start trading in your fake money for some gold and silver. Um, you know, we could always get, you know, leave your comments at the bottom of the page and give me your ideas. And uh, we could talk about them and, and find out, you know, how we're going to come out of Babylon. And, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, that, I guess that'll be it for this video. And I know I'm not that good of a speaker, but I sure hope you get the, that I'm getting the message across. And, uh, and hopefully I get better at this speaking as time goes on. And uh, just have to go with it and see what happens. You know, God is in control. So um, God bless you, my brothers and sisters, and see you next video.